Okay, we're back with more Welcome to Kingsmouth Island. We need to go get some tools today. I'm just having a look at the condition of my nightsticks. Okay, the one we're main handing is getting really bad. I'm actually just gonna drop that on the floor. And let's find ourselves a backup piece. Uh, we'll take the kitchen knife. We might be able to shank some things with it. So we are going to carry this backup, backup nightstick. Okay, it is uh, early in the morning. We've finished our cooking show. We would really like to get back here before midday. Um, I guess if you want to be super, super sneaky, you can take a TV with you. Yes, we've probably got the uh, carrying capacity to pull that off. Soon we're getting a few graphical glitches. It's it's a stupid plan, but it's stupid enough to work. Now, I'm not going to set my alarm because I may be sneaking around when it kicks off. Uh, we are going to jog more than we normally would want to because, again, we're on the clock. We want to get there, get stuff done, and get back. And it's probably easier to jog there and then do some resting. So, tools. We want to get our hands on a saw and a hammer, box of nails, sledgehammer would obviously be clutch, crowbar would be great. Okay, so we want to press straight through these trees. Okay, we might even sit for a moment and rest. Uh, did I bring any food? No, I don't think I did. It's alright. Okay, so we're going to fall this water. Maybe a few zombies like that one hiding in the trees. An eye out for any others. Very loud. Yeah, we're gonna get pretty close to the trees here. As long as we stay moving. Okay, we have reached some civilization. And we want that warehouse. So we're gonna take these two out. Get some area over here where we can fight in if we need to. Good to have a fallback point. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm just going to get a cool shank in there. No alarm. Yeah, we've got one coming over to us. We'll probably take those two as well, although I see the area is uh, pretty well trafficked. It'll be much worse on the side of the building. That looks like it's got something, maybe another garden fork, could be a trowel. Another hand fork, yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of those. Early enough in the morning, I don't mind uh, taking a few of these guys out. If you can, it's better to try to limit your strikes to one zombie and push the other one over. Like there we managed to... You might spend eight shots before you even have hit them all once. Okay, there's a bigger bag. You're coming with me, sir. Okay. We have... Not bitten off more than we can chew, but more than we would prefer. We drag them through even that small patch of forest. Some of them will slow down, some of them won't. Okay, we've got four. Looks like that guy's got gloves on. Okay, so like I said here, we're getting a panic moodle. Very well. Leather gloves, no holes, we'll take those. Boots. Actually I'm not sure if they have no holes or if I'm if I'm used to having a mod that would tell me if they have holes. Let's uh, let's visually confirm. Boots do not have any holes. Gloves do not have any holes. Excellent. Okay, so that was a good find. Doesn't hurt to sit and rest for a little bit. If we had any food, we'd probably nibble a little. So we want to get in there and get some tools. Now again, we could try to sneak in there. I don't mind going a little bit louder. Um, a little bit, that is. Pulling some... Like this lady out. So let's keep her... We break line of sight of her, then when we see her again, we get the fear. Delphic in the tree. Definitely want to avoid that. Okay, so I'm not even going to check these bodies right now. Because I don't know if the area behind me is safe. And I know the area in front of me is not. Okay, well I missed that stomp really badly. About to get another guy coming through that window, or if he just walked off into that corner. Okay, well that's probably got his attention. I'm not jumping through that window while he's there. She's there. more gloves, but those do have a hole in them. Okay, so I thought that was a mod. Maybe that's just the default now. Hmm. 
He seemed to see me from a while off. Okay, so there's no other ways out of here. Which is always risky. Shovel, saw. Okay, saw is great. You come with us, you're getting favorited. Shovel goes on the back. Great, there's a decent weapon. Uh, we're not painting. Dark tape metal bar. Until our thing's full, we'll take that. Plank, plank, plank. Okay, there we go. Don't really want a lug wrench, but we may have trouble finding it later. I don't have a ball peen hammer is sufficient to build with. Look at all this lovely plaster we're just gonna leave here. These guys aren't smart enough to path all the way under that door. So we need to get into those ones in the corner. Great, could be useful, probably not. Okay, two more shovels. They're both weapons. Tire pump again, we don't need, but we might need it later. I think I'm gonna drop that crate. A lot of dudes over there. This is probably not the most sensible thing I've ever done. Okay, well, they gave us some XP. Now we could have smashed these crates up for more. The hammer's almost dead. That hammer's pristine. Wrench is good too. Another shovel. Okay, so we got weapons for days. I don't remember if I check this. Ooh, we'll take a couple of nails. Wrench, again, weapon. So I think the King's Meth Island settings I have. Uh, let's hope there's no one next to the window. So we've got plenty of time before we need to get near a TV, let alone before it gets dark. Now I'm not going to smash one of these windows, just in case, I'll take the tarp in case we want to make a tent, um, just in case we get an alarm, so we can't get in. Can't get in, we're not going to. There's something on a seat. There's a corpse on the seat. I didn't know that that was a thing that could happen. Fascinating. I've never seen that before. Okay, so this is obviously a little tight. Can't see anything following us. Looks good. Yeah. Okay, so some stuff to plant would be good. The radishes are not exactly high priority there, neither is broccoli. Uh, again, a metal bar would be a weapon if we were short of weapons. But not really at the moment. At this point, I guess we're not likely to be. We've already got enough weapons to kill quite a few hundred zombies with. Yeah, not all of them, though. There's um, The resort on this island is is more levels of overrun. Maybe even worse because it's like five or six stories. Let's go close to this and see if we hear any zombies inside. And there's a generator. We might move that a little bit closer. Um, 
obviously we don't have a generator magazine yet, we don't have any gas, we don't have anything we need to use it on, the power is still on, so at the moment it is big, big paperweight. Okay, so I could try to smash in some of these containers. But it is early enough in the day that that wouldn't be the worst. Just knock on the door, see if anyone knocks back. Um, can I get through one of these doors with this shovel? I think so. Guess that's also a thing. It doesn't look like any zombies hiding in here. Is anything good? That was actually faster than I thought as well. Okay, rope. Uh, would have been handy before we could just use sheet rope to move. Stuff around, box of nails is great. Rope is still lighter than a sheet rope, but not worth carrying around for just that purpose. I get for one of these. Right, 204, 3. Mm. So we need to do like 30, 30 crates to get that next level. That's um, not something I think I want to wait around and do. Check the bottom three of these if we can. There's a zombie inside, hopefully it would be bashing bashing the door by now. No. Okay. Zombies are fucking stupid. Again, I would have lost serious money on that bet. <laughs> I would have lost a whole heap of money on that bet that there would not be a zombie in there after all of that. And, I mean, the funny thing has to be the fact that, well, yeah, there was one zombie, but why not ten? I mean, if that one zombie was stupid enough just to stand there, God knows how many could have just been waiting in here. Hey, probably torch. Okay. Carrot seed skin. We haven't found any S-tier vegetables, but we have found enough that we could start a garden somewhere. Okay, I would like to steal a water dispense from here. Checking any um, bookshelf would also be a big deal. But it's already 6 o'clock, let's see if we can... Nah. Let's concentrate on getting out of here. None of these guys see us, we might be able to get into there. Yeah, if nothing's moved into this area, we might be able to watch our TV. Okay, if just one thing has moved into the area, we might be able to watch our TV. the recipe for a campfire.
Okay, we're looking good. Okay, everybody, I'm going to leave it here. We've got tools, we've got food, we've got a decent bag. It's time to get out of here before the helicopter shows up. Tune in next episode for that. Till then, you have a great day.